Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel and if you are facing the issue that has been stated in the title, you have come to the right place. Not to be worried, just watch this video and follow each step that I have taken and you should be alright. So the issue that you have you are facing should look something like this is when you open up your SQL York and you try to log into your local host and when you try try to connect it it pops up an error saying the plugin catching SHA2 password could not be loaded the specified module could not be found so the reason why you are facing this issue right now is because when you install my SQL installer you have chosen the authentication method of the option use strong password encryption for authentication instead of the option use legacy authentication method so this is a common mistake so not to be, not to be worried we are going to fix it right now okay if you are freaking out right now don't be so this is the first step first you go to the path that has been shown in the video and later on i'll put one in the description in your file explorer just find the file name my.ini Okay, if you have successfully found the file my.ini and I want you to open it up right now. So once it is once it is open up, look for the line of code which is default underscore authentication underscore plugin equals catching underscore sha2 underscore password. And I want you to comment out this specific line of code and under it I want you to add in a new line of code which is default underscore authentication underscore plugin equals my sql underscore native underscore password which has been shown in the video right now but if, if it is not clear i have written it in the description below you can check it out so after that i want you to open up your my sql workbench after open it up I want you to log into your local host using the password you have set while when you install my SQL installer. Once it is open up, you will see a blank space where you can type in your query. I want you to type in the query that has been shown in the video right now. Or if it's not clear later on, you can look into the description. I will write in write it down on there. And after that, you have timed the query, so you need to fill in your password. It can be the one that you set for the, your MySQL installer, or it can it could be a new one. So once you have done deciding, press on the icon that is shown in the video, the lightning icon, to execute the query, and that should do the job. Now, once you have done that, open up your SQL your so now we would like to try whether it works whether it will connect to our local host so open up a new connection fill in your credential your local host your password it could be the password that you have created while you install my SQL installer or the new one that has been that has been entered in the query and you have executed it so put in all your credential and test connection if you have successfully connect to your local host congratulations if unfortunately you did not please comment out the error errors in the comment section below i'll look into it and hopefully i'll find a solution and reply your queries side note so if you open up your my SQL workbench and it says that it cannot be connected to your local host not to worry what I want you to do is to search service.msc on your search window and open it up once it open it up you will be seeing something like this in this video right now so look for my SQL and make sure it is running if it's running uh, disable it and rerun it again.
if it's not running make sure that it's running okay i hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe for more peace out